Greetings. Well, I had this old, old Game Boy since some time ago. I had no cartridges for it, so I wanted to play some old arcade games on it. So this is what I done. I installed a UV EEPROM on it, downloaded some ROMs from the web into it, and this one here is for uh, a very old good game. Was called Space Invaders, a very famous one. I used to play it with my Atari 2600, and uh, well, it's now playing on my old trusty Game Boy. Um, the old traditional look of the Invaders and the Defender on the bottom. Well, this is playing in EEPROM that I got from some of the Seas machines from the company's backyard that were discarded electronics. But the EEPROMs were in good condition and I had a EEPROM programmer. What I didn't have was an EEPROM eraser, an UV eraser. Here I'm installing the Voxel game, also another one that I used to like. This is the Space Invaders uh, chip. And now it's time to test the voxel game on it. Switch it on, it's hard. Here we go. It's putting up. This is what uh, the Game Boy does. It the test is uh, the ROM uh, logo on the chip and compares it and then displays it. So that's just like kind of uh, power and self test. It, it verifies the data lines and the address bus to see if something's faulty. If something's faulty, it will, it will hold. Um, so uh, here it's playing Voxel. Another one that I like because it's kind of a puzzle. It makes you kind of wonder how to displace the boxes in the right order to get them um, placed in where the dots area is marked. But you have to figure it out because once you move the box forward, uh, you only have one move back, so you can't be uh, well trapped within boxes. And you have to you have to restart. So it's playing fine. I got these two games. There are 32 kilobyte games running on 64 kilobytes EEPROMs. Uh, that's the only two EEPROMs. This is a diagram I got from the web. It's running a 32 kilobytes ROM, which is the right the, the right size you can run without the memory bank controller, which I don't have. So this this is the the board. I remove the uh, cartridge uh, connector, so I install wires to it. I don't have a cartridge. This is these are the EEPROMs. I got two uh, 32 64 kilobytes and one 32 kilobytes uh, EEPROMs. This is my UV eraser. It's using a German Seidel. UV lamp, a very intense UV radiation lamp, so it's a, it's an hazard. It has to be shielded. No, don't let it, don't let, don't stare at the light, or let it near your skin, because, well, it will you will get cancer if you are exposed to this. So it's sealed, and it's within the plastic tube there with a switch on it. I use the electronics from ADCs, um, one of those. Uh, the energy saving fluorescent lamps circuit, it was still working. This is my laptop connected uh, to it, the EEPROM Universal Programmer, and I'm running the software that came with it. This is the Super Pro Z Universal Programmer, very neat and trusty EEPROM programmer. This is a site where you can get uh, ROMs from. I got Boxel. Uh, Space Invaders, you can probably get more. This is the application running. And at first I verified for a blank U, uh, UV prompt, then I just download it. So there you have it. Um, just find any EEPROM you have available, either a UV or a flash ROM, and put uh, the maximum you can put without the memory bank controller chip is 32 kilobytes. So look for games that are that size. Otherwise, they will not run. Um, then, if you want to run bigger games, you need to, to fashion yourself a memory bank controller chip, which is kind of hard. Just wanted to make it simple.
Thanks for watching.